In this video, we'll talk explicitly about the stability of equilibrium points for discrete time dynamics. So I've kind of mentioned it um, in several other videos and, and kind of in the problem solving session on Wednesday, but I just wanted to kind of clarify and kind of make it make it specific, you know, what we're talking about when we're talking about the stability of these equilibrium points for equilibria. Okay, let's say we had our discrete time dynamic systems. Let's switch over to the cobwebbing tool. Right, so remember this tool takes the discrete time system, xn plus one is equal to function g of xn, and it plots it in the xn versus xn plus one plane. And so here you type the update function, so g of x is x squared for this problem, and you give it an initial condition, right? And so, you know, based on this cobwebbing tool, we can see that we had two equilibrium points, right? We had one here at one, and we had one here at zero, right? So if I start, at one of these equilibrium points, and I try to step through my dynamical system, I always stay there, right? And that's because, you know, if you input zero into this update rule, you get zero back, right? So it's a point where the input matches the output for your discrete time system, okay? And then the other point was at x equals one, where the same thing happens, right? If you plug in one into this update rule, one squared gives you back one, so you stay there for all time, okay? And so, you know, these are equilibrium points, and the equilibrium points are places where the discrete time system says you don't change anymore. But to understand, <coughs> you know, what's going on in this model, you have to ask yourself, you know, what's happening near the equilibrium points, right? Then that'll tell you what the solutions around, you know, in any other place here is gonna do, okay? So for this problem, um, you know, let's start, let's say at point six, right? And the question is, you know, is it going to move to one equilibrium point or the other? And in this case, it moves towards zero. Okay. If we start, let's say, closer to the other equilibrium point, at point nine, we still move x equals zero. Let's start on the other side of this equilibrium point to see kind of what happens over there. So we start at like 1.1, 1 .1, and it's going to move away from it. Okay. So right away, we can see that there's a difference between these two equilibrium points. In one case, right, we started in here, we moved towards zero, away from this one. So away from one equilibrium point and towards the other. And then on, when we start on this side of the equilibrium point, we moved away from it. And I guess we could ask what happens, you know, on the other side of the zero, maybe a point one, right? Uh, we, we can zoom in here, see that it's actually gonna go straight to this equilibrium point, okay? There's a big difference between the behavior of the system or the model around these two equilibrium points that's different between one and the other. So we're going to find that uh, by stability, okay? Let's switch over one note. So I'm going to find for a discrete time system, an unstable equilibrium point as point uh, for which, you know, solutions that start nearby Solutions that start nearby move away from it, okay? So, you know, the key thing here is solutions that start nearby move away, okay? So that would be, if we go back to the diagram, right? That would be this x equals one point, right? If I start really close to it, like 1.001, that's starting near that point. And, well, you can't really tell, but I'll keep iterating. And you'll see that eventually you're gonna step away from it, right? And you move away from that in forward time. So you're not gonna go to this equilibrium point, you're gonna move away from it. Okay, and if I start on the other side of it, 0 0.999, let's say, right? This is pretty close to this equilibrium point, but you move away from it, right? You move towards this point here. So in one case, we moved off to infinity, and here we're gonna move down to zero. Okay, but in either case, we're starting nearby this x equals one equilibrium point and moving away from it. Okay, so that means that x equals one is an unstable equilibrium point, according to our cobwebbing. Okay, and then on the other side, you know, the other type of equilibrium we're going to have is going to be called stable. Okay, stable equilibrium point. I'm going to switch over. Stable equilibrium point. You know, a point, I apologize, my cats are playing in the background. 
I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but a stable equilibrium point is a point for which solutions that start nearby nearby move towards it. Okay, this is a, a different type of equilibrium, and it's the other one that we had in the system, right? So if we start, if we start nearby, instead of moving away from this point, we're going to move towards this point. So that's what's stable. Okay, so if we go back to the diagram here, <laughs> I, I, I promise they're okay. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, I start near this point, 0 0.1, quickly move to this equilibrium point, right? And if I start kind of anywhere in this little region, I The solutions that start near this point move towards it. Let's we'll start, you know, negative 0.5, and it moves towards 0 as well, okay? So in this problem, x equals 1 was unstable, and x equals 0 was stable, and we knew that because we cobwebbed towards this one and away from that one. Okay, and we'll get into a more technical definition of stability once we cover the derivative. But if I ask you about stability now, you'll have to make your arguments based on how the cobwebbing shows you whether solutions are moving towards these points or away from them. Um, and whether or not, you know, if I try something like negative 1.5, right? In this case, it actually moves off to infinity, right? So this one would be too far away. So you, when you're asking about these uh, solutions, you have to really ask, what happens locally, like what happens near this equilibrium point. Because the global behavior solutions is different. But near these equilibrium points, it should either get pulled towards one or away from the other. Okay? We'll stop here for now.